Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I would be super happy if you could click that magical subscribe button. It helps me create more fun and exciting content for you. And if you've been here before, I'm so glad to have you back. Enjoy your time on the channel and let's have a great time together. The Little Ghost by Robert Sansucci and illustrated by Daniel Sansucci. Seth and Jill went out to play. They ran on and on. The blue sky got black. All of a sudden, there was lots of rain and wind. They got very wet. This is bad, said Seth to his friend. Look, said Jill. There is a house on that hill. We will be snug in there. Let's go, said Seth. They ran up the path to the house. Drip, drip, drip. The rain fell on them. The house was big and old. They went to the door. Seth tapped on it. A thin black cat and her kitten looked at them. They need something to eat, said Jill. I wish someone would make us something to eat. Seth said, I would like a sandwich and a big glass of milk. Yum! Jill said, This house looks old and sad. Maybe no one is here. Seth yelled, We are wet and cold. Will you let us in? No one came. Thump! Seth hit the door with his fist. Oh! The friend said when the door swung in. It was hard to see. No lamps were on. There was no one to tell them to come in or get out. We are all alone, said Jill. Then no one will be mad if we go in, said Seth. We will go when the rain stops. They went in. The cat and kitten went in too. Seth and Jill shut the door to stop the wind. They looked, but they saw no one. Dust was thick on all the things they saw. A dusty lamp sat on a desk. There was a dusty table with dishes on it. Dusty books sat on a shelf. Long webs hung on the walls. I do not like it here, Jill said. I want the rain to stop quickly. Me too, said Seth. The friends held hands. Then they felt a bit better. There was a bump and a thump. What was that? asked Seth softly. Look at the steps said Jill in a whisper. Do you see something? Yes, said Seth. At the top was a little boy. He was as white as milk, and so were his shirt and pants. Who are you? he asked. The friends looked. The boy was like glass. They saw right through him. He is a ghost, said Jill. The cat and her kitten hissed. Run! said Seth. But they could not open the door. The cat jabbed it. None of this helped. Do not run, said the little ghost. He looked so sad that the friend stopped. He came down the steps. Then he smiled. I am Josh, he said. I am Seth, said Seth. And I am Jill, said Jill. We did not know you were here, said Seth. We will go if you want us to, Jill said. Oh no, I am glad that you are here, said the ghost. There is no one for me to talk to. There is no one for me to play with. I always wish for friends, but you are the first ones to come here in a long time. Will you be my friends? I have not met a ghost, said Jill. I did not want to, but you are nice. I will be your friend. She held out her hand. He shook it. His fingers were soft as a moth's wing. I will be your friend too, said Seth. It is nice to have a ghost for a friend. They shook hands too. How did you get here? asked Jill. Josh said, this was a bad witch's house. She took me to be her own little boy. She made me into a ghost, so I would have to stay with her. A witch, said Jill. Seth said, I do not want to meet a witch. One day she left and did not come back, said Josh, but I still have to stay here. How can we have fun with you? 
asked Seth. I will show you, Josh said. Josh took them to a little table. On the table was a board with red and black checkers. We like checkers, said Jill. We play it all the time, Seth said. I like checkers too, said Josh. But I cannot play. I'm a ghost. I cannot lift the checkers. We will help you, said Seth. Then he and Jill blew the dust off the checkers. Two played and the other one looked on. They took turns. Josh could not lift the checkers, so he would point to a checker and Seth or Jill would move it. They played until the sun came back out. The rain stopped, said Jill. It is time to go, said Seth. Oh, said Josh. He looked glum. I will be here with no friends. We will come back, Jill said. Yes, said Seth. I will bring some fun games for us to play. And I will bring snacks and milk for the cats, said Jill. Then Seth and Jill went down the path. They waved to Josh. He waved back. The cat and kitten waved too. Josh did not look sad at all. And his new friends were glad. The end. Thank you kids for listening. I hope you enjoyed this story. I'll see you soon in another adventure. Always remember to be good, polite and kind.